Hello, RCAP. We are Team A and DSS CSR1. My name is Fitzan, and this is my teammate Aiden. We are from Anderson Secondary School, and we have basic levels of EV3 and Arduino knowledge. My team participated in the RCAP 2021 Tianjin Invitational Tournament and made it to the Finals and Super Team Challenge for the Co-Space Rescue Challenge. Here is a summary of the preliminary challenge. We participated in Co-Space Rescue U19 Challenge. In the second preliminary round, our code originally made the robot go anti-clockwise around the map when it reached the borders, but this led to our robot not being able to deposit any objects that it had picked up as there was walls blocking our deposit zones. Our robot also consistently got stuck in the traps as our trap avoiding code was not fit for this size of traps. For the first problem, we changed the border code for our robot to make it turn right instead of left when it neared the borders. For the second problem, we changed the wheel speeds and played around with the values until we found suitable values that allowed the robot to safely turn away from traps without running over them. Our robot was also able to deposit more objects and avoid the traps, therefore allowing it to pick up more objects which led to an increase in our points. Overall, we are quite happy with the results and are pleased to have another chance in the finals. The challenge mission is to collect as many points as possible by collecting and depositing as many blocks as possible within the time limit. The challenge task can be broken down into many mini-tasks. These mini-tasks include picking up the blocks, depositing the blocks, and avoiding traps and borders. However, there needs to be a certain order to these mini-tasks or else the robot will get disoriented. These small tasks, when completed together, will contribute to the success or even failure of the run. For example, should the robot fail to locate the deposit zone and deposit the objects on board, the robot will not be able to get enough points. However, if the robot is able to consistently deposit objects, it will boost the points by quite a bit. To start off, we aim to collect three black objects. After collecting two or three black objects, we aim to collect more objects of other colors. After six objects were collected, we aim to go to the deposit zone and deposit the object. Then the cycle continues. If at any time the robot tenses the trap or it realizes that it is near the border, it will turn away. When we had problems remembering how to program any of the basic codes, we referred to this video for the basic codes. We referred to this video as it was made by the people of RCAP so we knew it was reliable. Here is a flowchart of our AI algorithm. Our robot mostly went according to plan. The basic code that we had prepared in advance worked and all we had to do was update the ranges for the deposit zones. However, later on, when we tried to add some innovations to boost our points a little, they did not work and wasted a significant amount of time and cost us many points. In conclusion, we were satisfied with the result we had gotten as at the start, we did not expect ourselves to get that high a score in the second preliminary challenge. Should we have another chance, we would aim to improve on our consistency. Our program was rather hit or miss, and consequently, we were forced to spend more time on grinding results out of good runs. In total, we spent about 10 hours trying to get good runs with higher points than previous runs. We have learned about perseverance. During the second preliminary round, we confined ourselves to grinding out the best results we could get from the robot and the code that we had written and eventually managed to get some good runs that we could use. We have gained experience about how rest is important. During the preliminary challenge, we spent a lot of time grinding runs for good results for hours on end and only took one or two breaks in the span of many hours. This led to us being extremely tired at the end of the day. We want to share that no idea is a bad idea. If you have an idea and want to try it out, even if you think it's not a good one, just go ahead and try it. You never know what will happen and the idea might just lead you to even greater success. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we wish you a good day ahead. Goodbye.